welcome back guys so we are learning the objects in javascript in the last lecture we learned how to display objects using different methods in today's lecture we are going to learn a very special type of method that will help us to access the objects in a much easier way so first let us see the agenda of the lecture initially we will be seeing what the drawbacks of accessing the object property using traditional ways are then what is a getter and what is a setter examples of getter and setter so without wasting any more time let us get started we have seen a number of methods to access an object but the problem with that approach is sometimes repetition of lines resulting in messy code and confusion but javascript helps us with that too there are two keywords which define the accessor's function a getter and setter we can access and set properties with the help of this method when the property is accessed the return value from the getter is used when a value is set the setter is called and passed the value that was set ECMA script 5 ES5 2009 introduced getter and setters but first we will display the object with the help of passing the arguments and here is the syntax on your screen dollar object name dot property name and here is an example better way to access a property is using a back tick and passing the arguments using the dollar sign but sometimes we have to repeat the full name of the person multiple times in our application we can make that easier by defining a method inside the object and then we can call that method whenever we want have a look at this example So here we called a function full name to display the full name of the person. In the function we returned the argument first name and last name. But there are a couple of problems with this method as well. We cannot set a property from outside the object and sometimes we need that too. What if instead of calling it a method we can call this a property means. person dot full name If we want to drop the parenthesis we can do that. Here we can use getters and setters to access and change or mutate them. Have a look at this example. Here we call the method as property using getter. Get is the keyword that we need to use when we define a getter. Let us see how we can use a setter method. Have a look at this example on your screen. Great. So we set a new name to the object. To be able to set a new name from the outside, we need setter. It is very similar to getter. We added a set keyword. Then property or method, we can have the same name. This method needs a parameter. We can call it value. In the value parameter, we are going to set our new name. Let us assume that the value is a valid string. we needed to split that string by a space so we used a split operator on the value parameter this will return an array we stored it into a variable called paths this keyword refers to the object when the object is created we assigned the first name to the first index position paths 0 and the last name to the second position paths 1 We accessed the setter from the outside and changed the properties to will cruise and then we displayed the object onto the console. JavaScript does not make any compromise with perfection. You just have to do the coding and the rest of the things are the responsibility of JavaScript. JavaScript will tell you if you make any errors in your code. So search back and code. In today's session we are going to learn constructor in JavaScript. So let us see the agenda of today's lecture. Firstly, we will be learning the meaning of constructor with the help of an example. Then we will see a list of JavaScript built in constructors. After that, creating multiple objects with the constructor function with example. Then JavaScript this keyword with example. JavaScript constructor function parameters is the next concept then we will see how to add properties and methods in a constructor lastly there is an assignment for you guys so what is a constructor 
Well, constructor is a template which is used to create objects. In JavaScript, a constructor gets called when you declare an object using the new keyword. Basic syntax to create an object of the constructor is let variable name equal to new constructor name. Now let us see an example. Here it is on your screen. So this is the overall flow of the constructor. In this example, we have created a constructor person. There are two properties, name and age. Now we need to create an object. We created an object of the constructor person. Now there are some inbuilt constructors also like new date, etc. JavaScript built in constructors. Let a equal to new object slash a new object object. Let b equal to new string slash a new string object. Let c equal to new number, a new number object. Let d equal to new boolean slash a new boolean object. Creating multiple objects with the constructor function. Let us directly dive into the example, then I will explain. Here it is on your screen. So as you can see in the program, there is a constructor person. It has some properties. As the title suggests, we are going to make more than one object of the same constructor and then display it. First, we created an object person1 and accessed the name property of the constructor. Then we created a person2 object of the same constructor and accessed the same property. Hence, we got the same output as John. Let us see the this keyword in detail. JavaScript this keyword. In JavaScript, when this keyword is used in a constructor function, this refers to the object when the object is created. For example, function person. This dot name equal to John. Have a look at this example on your screen. Hence, when an object accesses the property, it can directly access it as person.name. Sometimes we need to pass the parameter to the constructor by creating an object. Let us see how we can do that. JavaScript constructor function parameters. Function person, person name, person age, person gender. This name equal to person name. This age equal to person age. This gender equal to person gender. This greet equal to function. Here is an example on your screen. So guys, if you find the code a little bit confusing, don't worry at all because I will explain each and every step. We are passing three parameters to the constructor which are person name, person age and person gender. Then we assigned the parameter values to the calling object using this keyword. There is a greet property having a method. After that, we created two objects of the constructor, person1 and person2. We passed arguments to the function. Constant person1 equal to new. Person John, 23, male. Constant person2 equal to new. Person Sam, 25, female. Console.log person1.name. This will give us John. Console.log person2.name. This will give us Sam. So, this is how parameters in constructor work. I hope you understood it clearly. Now, moving on to the next part. Adding properties and methods in an object. Do you guys remember how we added properties in an object? We can do that here as well. Here is an example on your screen. Uncaught type error. Person2.greet is not a function. Fantastic. So we successfully added a property and a method. We created a constructor function, person having name and age property. Then we created two objects, person1 and person2. We added a property called gender and the value male. Then we added a method called greet using first object person1. We displayed the method. But there is an error when we try to display the greet method using person2. Well, this is because we have added the method in person1 and not in person2. Person2 does not have a greet method. 
So this is the detailed explanation of the constructor. And here is a simple assignment for you guys. Create a constructor fruits having properties, name and color. And the object of fruits should be fruits1. Display the name property using the object. So that is it for today guys. I will meet you very soon in the next lecture with some really amazing concepts of object. Till then, take care. Bye.